world peace and the next steps in advancement of humankind. The opposite of employment isn't unemployment, it's freedom. G.K. Chesterton, writer, philosopher and art critic. World peace is about wisdom. We need a new international bank an upgrade to the way individual beings use money. The bank card has a daily spending limit of 100 United States dollars, and that sum will grow with inflation. While the bank should not track debt because a human being is a creator and not a burden, should those figures prove necessary, the money can come from the surrounding planets. The bank simply sells and trades land and mineral rights. But it is important to understand that this money is an investment in the future of humankind. Because the only real thing that divides us is poverty and all the things it induces, including lack of education. Human-made things, such as money, must always aim to help humanity, not hurt it. The result ends poverty and wage slavery, setting us free to learn and become wise and converge on wisdom in peace. The effects of wage slavery are very real. The most miserable one is the disproportionate mass incarceration of people fractured by the bony hands of poverty. The most harmful effect is lack of education and growing up. Eventually, you have to exit education and get a job. And then you will not learn the things you need to know to grow great, because you will be too tired from overwork and off work and petty nonsense that is not worthy of you. Even though there is no conspiracy to create wage slavery, you are still being cut off from education, forced into work, and denied a full measure of the wisdom you deserve. We can't have a justice system when people are committing crimes out of poverty and lack of education. The errors within our civilization are putting people in cages. And that is not justice. We simply cannot have a civilization based on using poverty to force people out of school and into work. This is not who we are. Herein lies the problem of sequence. Without real education, we can't see the errors that surround us. With our love for all members of the human family stunted, we can't even comprehend the gravity of the necessity of this change. Without real education, humanity will not notice the invisible prison walls of poverty. Without real education, we will silently stand by the death of 20,000 people and in our blindness call that a method of prevention. Entry into authentic education that provides real results and pushes people towards wisdom and beyond into greatness and a global exit from poverty is the only way to permanently prevent the fracturing, indoctrination, warping, and hijacking the minds of poor and uneducated people. One hundred dollars per day to all, so that they may outgrow in wisdom their fathers, their families, their cultures, indoctrination, propaganda, lies, manipulations, and so that they can avoid fractures that cause crime, conflict, and war. Let their fathers cry 
once they understand that their children will be growing up in a better world. That their children won't have to fight or fear hunger. That they can just move and take to the constellations of curiosities within them. It is not just universal income, you see. It is also real education, so that the world can see itself. Today, when you ask a teacher, who do they see when they look at you? Their honest answer is a student, one of many. But you are not just a student. You are all our hopes and dreams. When you ask why they are teaching you, their honest answer is so that they can put food on their table. But it is all about empowering you to greatness, to becoming a great being. And when you ask them about war, they will say that the world is not a fair place, that war is what men do. But they are just victims of lack of real education, victims of poverty, and they are trapped within the invisible walls of work or perish. This cycle of blindness, destruction, and self-destruction must be broken. It must end right now, this second. In the absence of teachers, you become the teacher. You must take to self-education, because a standardized curriculum can't teach anything. At best, it can only churn out uneducated and desperate work machines who can't understand that only real education and safety and security can prevent conflict. Not mutually assured destruction, not drone strikes, not another arms race. Drone strikes and other modern technologies simply accelerated the arms race and the emergence of new conflicts where the oceans no longer divide enemies apart. Human beings are not work machines. When we are allowed to grow, we grow into great beings. Please take to narrated books and help others do the same. So as long as we are learning for real, the world education level will rise high enough to make that strange bank a reality. And the people will understand that what divided us was the fractures from poverty and the lack of education, which prevented us from reaching wisdom and greatness. Freed from poverty and converging on wisdom, the world will begin to understand that we are one, one family under the sun.